Hey guys, BowHD here, and as many of you guys know, I got my hands on the LG G3, and since this is such a new device, I figured I would just show you guys around and give you a software tour highlighting some of the best new features. So if we start by powering on the G3, we'll come across our first feature, and that is knock code. Basically, it is an all-new way to unlock your device through a series of taps on the screen. You can enter it when the screen is off or when the screen is on, but the general idea is the same. You have four quadrants that allow you to enter a combination of taps, and I gotta say, it works exceptionally well. If you like the knock-on feature previously on the G2, then you're going to most likely love the knock code feature. But if we navigate through the home screens, we'll see that flat LG skin everyone is talking about, and in my opinion, it looks much, much better than the previous LG skin on the G2. It's kind of like a halfway point between the last skin LG had and stock Android. A really good example of just how flat it looks now is with the notification bar and those slide through quick access links at the top which feature a couple of unique features like Q Remote and Q Slide. While they aren't completely unique to the G3 in that the Q Remote app is basically LG's custom IR Blaster control app that lets you control your TV and other systems, and the Q Slide app was on the G2 and it allows you to multitask with the Q Slide apps and pin them to the side with a two finger swipe. But one of my favorite features that I have yet to fully explore all of its capabilities is the new Smart Keyboard. With this all new Smart Keyboard, you'll be able to resize it so that your fingers actually fit the keyboard when you're typing, something that is so simple yet no other big manufacturer has done this. And it will also predict what you are about to type before you actually type it, which is something that is not exactly unique but could work better than other keyboard apps. I just haven't had enough time testing it to tell for sure. Now, Smart Notice is also a pretty unique feature on the G3, but unfortunately, I can't really show you just because it pops up randomly to give advice, and, well, it has no reason to pop up now. But basically, it gives you all sorts of info like when you miss a call and when to update apps and much more other info that Google Now doesn't usually show. And also, the camera app looks nice and clean, and it has a new feature unlike any other, and that is the laser autofocus sensor on the back. I don't want to go too in-depth with that now because I will cover the camera in great detail very soon, but basically you can tap to focus and it will automatically capture a picture, making everything super quick and simple and easy. But among those features, there's not a whole lot of others that really stand out. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of features in the settings like the smart screen feature that detects when your eyes are on the screen and keeps the display on accordingly. And the battery saving mode is pretty cool as it allows you to customize what is turned on and off when the battery drops below 30%, so you can stretch out the battery life as long as possible. And so besides those features, that about does it for my software tour going over some of the best LG G3 features. Let me know what your favorite LG G3 features are by leaving me a comment right down below. And if you want to be notified when I release my full review and camera test of the G3, make sure you click that subscribe button right down here. But with that said, that's going to about do it for this video, guys. If you want to check out my unboxing and first look of the LG G3, you can do so right here. Or you can take a look at my latest review of the Moto E smartphone if that's something you'd be interested in. But as always, guys, I'm BoHD from How To and More. Thanks for watching.